Welcome to the Evan Clifton Show. I'm Joe Wamba. Join now with Evan Clifton, head coach of the tennis programs. Coach, you guys uh, had a pretty big week last week. Oh, yeah. Uh, just talk a little bit about those matches that you had. Sure. Well, um, the first, uh, in the middle of the week, both teams, we hosted Messiah, uh, defending conference champs on the men's side and the women's side. So we knew that was going to be a very, very tough match. Uh, and on the women's side, uh, we responded really well. I mean, we had it was similar to the Lycoming match. We had a lot of very close matches, um, many that could have gone either way. Mm -hmm. Uh, we had a really, I mean, Jenna was down a set and 5-2 in number one singles to a very good player in Kelly Hopkins, and um, she was able to get the two breaks back and, and level the match, win the second set in a tie break, uh, and then was down a break or down 5-4 in the third set, broke back, forced a tie break, won the third set in number one singles match uh, in a tie break. So it was a really nice win for her mm -hmm. after having a couple really close, tough losses uh, the last few weeks. It was nice for her to be able to respond and pull that out. Um, you know, and uh, so on the women's side, we lost 5-4 to Messiah, uh, was, which is a pretty encouraging result considering they're defending conference champs with a very good team. Um, and we really used that momentum on the women's side to carry us to a win Saturday at Albright. So mm -hmm. it was nice to get that 6-3 win. You know, so we're 1-2 and two in the conference, still in the playoff hunt for sure. Uh, on the men's side, again, we had a much tougher time with Messiah. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just a very, very good team. They were certainly better than us on that day. And, um, you know, it was disappointing for – for a number of matches. It was, we had a really good match at, at one doubles. Uh, came down to we were 7-6 down serving, and you know, our serve faltered a little bit, and we, we lost the number one doubles match 8-6. Uh, number one singles, Brian had a really tough match. Played really well with uh, Tim Dunn, who's just playing just so well this week. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he lost 4-2. and two. Uh, Doug Vaughn fought really well, played close, uh, as did Peter Pia, and then those guys, you know, those guys when we went to, to Albright sort of carried like, you know, if they were able to play, hang with Messiah, you know, especially down the lineup, it gave those guys confidence and, mm -hmm. and it showed in the guys because we really needed we, Miss Albright was uh, very tough at the top of the lineup. So we, we got a nice win at one doubles um, and then uh, one and two singles we lost at Albright. So we really needed, for the first time this year, we really needed the bottom of our lineup to, to really carry us. They had to play mm -hmm. perfect. Um, and we won at four, five, and six singles. We were down four, two, and we, with those three matches on, uh, you know, it doesn't matter who you're playing. When when you need to be perfect like that and win it, it's, mm -hmm. you know, and when you, you're able to pull those matches out and take the five, four win, you know, you certainly are happy to have that, and you draw confidence from it. Um, and then the men played yesterday, played at Goucher against very te a team that beat Messiah seven, two, or eight, one mm -hmm. in the fall. So we knew it was a, a really high level team and. Uh, you know, we were just going to go out there and just try to get better, play as well as we can, and, and we did. We played really close at one doubles. We were down 5-0 um, pretty quickly, and then Brian Warden responded real well, got back on serve at 5-4, um, you know, and then Messiah re or um, Goucher regrouped, got a break, and they took that, that match 8-5. But um, all in all, a good, good week. We yep. played certainly um, as well as, as could be expected. Um, you know, and we're preparing uh, for the rest of our conference matches coming up this, this next week and uh, for Alvernia Wednesday. When you talk a lot about momentum and mentality, what does it take to win those break points when you guys really need them, especially in the four, five, and six slots? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it takes a couple things. Um, one, it takes not letting the moment be too big for you, not thinking about the score, not thinking about the ramifications of winning or losing that mm -hmm. point. You need to stay focused on the process, which is something we preach and practice every single day. Mm -hmm. You know, focus on what you need to do on that specific ball, what you need to do to win that specific point, and you let the result take care of itself. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we're, a lot of our guys are, are learning to do that, learning to embrace that, and it takes time. Mm -hmm. um, but we're certainly getting better at it, and you know, hopefully w that continues this week. And you mentioned the records in conference. The men are 2-1, and one, mm -hmm. women are 1-2, and two, right. both of them right in the thick of it. Sure. What is it going to take as this stretch continues in conference play for us to – be in one of those top four spots. Yeah, well, I mean, we just certainly we can't overlook anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, so we have Alvernia coming up next uh, on Wednesday and Thursday for the men and the women. Um, you know, and then the following week we go we go to Hood for both teams and back-to-back -back days, and then we host Arcadia on Senior Day on April 22nd. Um, all three are teams that we beat last year on the men's side. And teams that you know we we expect to win again this year, but we got to take it. We can't be looking. You know, it's too early to look at the conference standings and project who's going to finish where. Mm -hmm. We got to take care of our business day by day, practice by practice, and beat the team in front of us. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. Well, coach, we appreciate your time this week and every week, and we wish you the best of luck in these matches and traveling everywhere you're going. <laughs> Thank you very much. He's Evan Clifton. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Evan Clifton Show. <laughs>